Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Sagittarius, this is a timeless reading and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay. Also Sagittarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. Uh, Sagittarius, I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Sagittarius, uh, so when I say timeless reading, uh, whenever you watch this reading, uh, it becomes it will become applicable to you at that point of time, from that point of time onwards. Okay, so there are no time restrictions on this reading. Uh, right, look Sagittarius, what I'm going to do is this reading is all about what is it that you want badly to happen in your life, right? So I'm going to bifurcate in the, into the areas of uh, love, life in general and your career. So what is it that you badly want to happen in your love life? What is it that you badly want to happen in your life in general? And what is it that you badly want to happen when it comes to your career, okay? And then at the end, we are going to pull out some oracle cards as an advice for you. Okay, so let's get started Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, what is it that you badly want to happen when it comes to your love life, when it comes to your life in general and when it comes to your career and profession? Sagittarius, what is it that you badly want to happen when it comes to your love life, when it comes to your life in general and when it comes to your career? last shuffle what is it that you badly want to happen in your life Sagittarius what is it that you badly want to happen when it comes to your love life when it comes to your life in general and when it comes to your career so when it comes to your love is ace of cups okay king of pentacles when it comes to your life the world uh, eight of cups when it comes to your career is two of uh, swords and we have is two of cups interesting okay Sagittarius so Sagittarius we have ace of cups and we have king of uh, pentacles when it comes to your love life so what is it that you badly want so first of all, it's very clear uh, that you want a new beginning when it comes to your love life. You probably want a new beginning with a new person or you want a new beginning with, uh, with a past person. But for majority of you, I'm getting that you're craving. You really, really badly want a new beginning with a new person. You want a new beginning with a new person who is extremely grounded okay who is stable who can be who can act as your provider uh, need not necessarily has to be but who has the capability to act as your provider okay you are an independent person but that doesn't mean that you you want someone who will remain codependent on you or the, that doesn't mean that who who doesn't have the ability to give okay you want a giver you also uh, want uh, so far you have experienced people who were just taking away from you right and who were either throwing breadcrumbs or at you or who were not giving you at all so you don't want those kind of people at all okay so now you're manifesting exactly what is it that you want someone who is loving caring stable someone who can act as a provider someone who is a giver okay and someone who has a lot of wisdom so uh, i'm also sensing that sagittarius if you had some somehow you're sensing that you know uh, this is not applicable for all of you but for a few of you that's the energy i'm picking up right now you are also manifesting a person with a substantial age gap somehow you are sensing that uh, people at whosoever you have met so far they were people at your uh, of of the same age or the age gap was around about one or two years and you felt that they were not mature enough and you are trying to uh, 
you know you're trying to connect the dots between maturity and age so you are somehow you probably you want or it is your desire or you naturally get attracted to people who are elder to you that's what i'm sensing you want someone who is elder to you with substantial age gap because you sense that if they are bit elder then they will be uh, settled they they will be mature they will be loving and caring and they they will come with lot of giving nature okay so they won't hold themselves back when they have to love and care you okay so you probably you are uh, sagittarius you are manifesting uh, getting married very soon okay and that is why you want uh, a person who is uh who is very much grounded who is very much uh, settled down emotionally and financially okay so marriage is also looking uh uh you know a, a short term goal for you right so you are manifesting what is it that you badly uh, want when it comes to love is a new beginning in love and you want a person who is stable emotionally financially who is grounded and who is who is someone a marriage material kind of a person okay when it comes to your love life uh, the world and eight of cups i'm getting that you really want to travel i'm getting a very strong message that you are so tired of sitting at your place at your home or just uh, getting and getting stepping out of the home and roaming in the city you are someone who crave traveling a lot okay you love traveling and traveling has been your passion it's been your hobby and you really want to travel the world it's been very long due to the pandemic and covid and all that stuff because of the travel restrictions you couldn't travel well enough and now you are like in a fizzle of i cannot sit at my home and i cannot just travel in my country or within my city i need to step out i want to go and follow my passion all over again some of you are manifesting closures over here closure with some people who were once upon a time very close to you now this can be anybody okay sagittarius this can be uh this can be your friends this can be your family members uh this can be uh, uh you know work colleagues this can be uh, romantic partners this can be anyone but what i see is that you're manifesting you really badly want closures you really wa badly want to remove some people and situations from your life who were once upon a time very close to you okay yes this this eight eight of cups also uh, confirms whatever i had said you really want to remove certain situations from your life where you had invested heavily or once upon a time you were very close to that person or to those people uh you may be walking away from a certain situation this can also be a job this can also be uh cutting out uh, a romantic partner or cutting out friends or family or someone from your life but what i see is that a removal you really badly want to disassociate yourself from something or someone okay and when it comes to your career okay first of all with the two of cups i feel that you want to follow your passion whatever you're doing you are feeling that this is not my passion mm -hmm. my passion is uh, my passion is somewhere else and whatever your passion is you are still not able to find your passion okay probably you you are uh, you know you have choices and it's been long you have been indecisive between those choices and you want to end that indecisiveness okay probably you are uh, you know that there are these two things that i am passionate about and however i want to choose one and i don't know which one is is more passionate than the other okay so i first of all i'm i'm sensing that you really want to do something that you are passionate about whatever you're doing you feel that i'm not passionate about this uh, whatever i'm doing right now and something is making you indecisive you are at a crossroad and you are tired of being indecisive because that indecisive energy is going on since very long when it comes to your career and your profession and you want to 
close that you want to make a decision very soon okay you want to choose your option very soon so let's see uh, let's see what is your advice uh, Sagittarius what's your advice uh, what is your advice Sagittarius what is your advice Sagittarius and we have is healer of the ages then we have is the third chakra Archangel Chamio and we have hostilities okay hmm Sagittarius, somehow I'm getting that apart from whatever you're doing right now, okay, uh, you know that you have a gift, you're blessed with a gift of healing people and you're dwelling on the thought of do I need to take it up as my mainstream profession, okay? Your third chakra, Archangel Chamuel, is about your solar plexus chakra. It, it governs your willpower. It governs your determine, determination towards something. You're becoming more and more passionate about certain things in your life. I also see that your passions are changing. Whatever you were passionate three to four years ago, you are no more passionate about those. You're becoming passionate about different things. Okay, you're more and more becoming passionate about your own self-growth. You're more and more passionate about developing yourself. Okay, you're more and more passionate about uh, knowing yourself well. You are like, I have given enough to other people. Now it's high time that I give to myself. Okay, and you're becoming more and more passionate towards that. Okay, self-improvement, self-growth. Uh, yes, there are some people who are not happy about your growth about your success and i told you right you are planning to cut out some people and situations from your life you probably are planning out these people only who are not happy with your growth with your success someone who is jealous of you or maybe you're planning to leave a company where you are not uh, treated well or good okay all right i hope i hope this resonates please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye bye